dear students in continuation of e shikshana lectures today i shall discuss uh, the solution of bernoulli's differential equation and uh, with the help of linear differential equation solving steps in the previous lecture we studied the steps to be followed uh, for the solution of linear differential equations by finding the integrating factor i'll just give a reminder about that uh, topic what we studied and then we will uh, switch on to Bernoulli's differential equation. You know that already uh, with the basics of linear differential equations what we discussed. Linear differential equation is with uh, linear in y or linear in x that is y with first degree or x with first degree accordingly the solution was written. But if that is not the case that means if y is taking more than first degree and x is taking more than first degree then how to proceed and how to reduce that higher degree into first degree afterwards linear differential equation procedure can be followed. As you, all of you know that the standard form of linear differential equation dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x and uh, dx by dy plus of p of y into x that is equal to q of y. These are the two types of uh, linear differential equations accordingly the solution was written. Then if I take an example as only one case that is dy by dx form because the product of the type y is y into dy is not occurred in the given differential equation then we will consider the differential equation in the standard form uh, for the linear differential equation. <coughs> it is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. So this is linear differential equation the corresponding integrating factor is equal to e to the power integration it is p of x into dx and another form dx by dy plus of p of y it is into x it is q of y and integrating factor that is equal to e to the power that is p of y it is dy. This is the case where we find y into dy this occurs. Of course when y into dy is not occurred we will uh, convert the uh, given differential equation to this standard form uh, dy by dx plus p of x into y this is linear in y and this is linear in x. We studied uh, one or two examples on this topic based on this uh, we will have to continue how to solve nonlinear differential equation as as you know that nonlinear differential equation uh, comes everywhere in the application problems of engineering that is connected to various branches especially that is invented by Bernoulli uh, that Bernoulli uh, took the nonlinear uh, case and then he solved with the help of <coughs> I'm sorry the linear uh, differential equation steps then with the help of uh, uh, integrating factors accordingly. That means when y is more than first degree and x is more than first degree. Then if that is the case what is the standard form of uh, nonlinear uh, uh, differential equation which is contributed by Bernoulli. So that I will write now. Bernoulli's differential equation. This is the case of nonlinear ODE. Remember, still it is ordinary differential equation. We are not studying the partial differential equation, we are studying only the ordinary differential equation. Okay, it is of the form. dy by dx plus p of x into y if I take this as an example into y is equal to q of x into this is y to the power n. It is a general case. A general case we always refer as Bernoulli's differential equation but it is uh, not containing the product that is y into dy. If it is containing y into dy then we will transfer that into or dx by dy plus p of y into x that is equal to q of 
y. That means right side is a function of y alone whenever the product y into dy appears and right side it is a function of x alone when y into dy is not occurred. So these are the only two cases that you have to remember because this is the base to study this Bernoulli's differential equation this is the base and these are the calculations uh, for integrating factor not both in uh, uh, one differential equation you have to use but only uh, any one case will appear uh, if y into dy is not appeared in the differential equation. Okay. So this is y, uh, q of x into y to the power n is there. Then this is y degree 1, here y degree is more than 1 that is nth degree then it is called nonlinear differential equation here, here y is not with first degree, y is not with first degree therefore uh, since since y to the power n is occurred. Hence, I call this equation as 1. Hence, equation 1 is called Bernoulli's differential equation. Bernoulli's differential equation because of more than first degree in the variable. Uh, as you know that that is it is in the form of y to the power first degree linear in y and linear in x. This is non-linear in y and non-linear in x I will write at the end after studying this one. Now what is our job uh, when once you identify uh, that as uh, non-linear differential equation. Our job is to solve the differential equation because we have to uh, accept the type of the problem or type of the model or type of the differential equation arises according to the situation then we have to accept and we have to analyze what kind of variables are appeared. That means what are the degrees of the variables are appeared. Degree of the variable is y is 1 and y to the power y is taking nth degree. Therefore, it is not with first degree then it is nonlinear. Okay. How to reduce that? Now, what I will do is throughout this equation I will divide by <coughs> y to the power n then one important substitution I will choose that important substitution will help us to reduce this Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation nonlinear differential equation into linear form then. So uh, this is the equation 1 dividing throughout by y to the power n otherwise you can write the words dividing throughout by y to the power n anyway right side this total quantity should not be in the mixed form that means this total product uh, is only in the form of x because it is containing x it is containing y but y we have to remove therefore dividing by y to the power n let us remove from that place as y to the power n implies what is that y to the power minus n dy by dx if you take this to denominator here and then shift it to the numerator plus of it is px and y to the power y to the power 1 divided by y to the power n and equal to qx and y to the power n divided by y to the power n becomes 1. Therefore, next simplification this implies y to the power minus n okay, dy by it is dx plus of it is px this is base is same powers can be added that means this term you take to the numerator that becomes 1 minus n 1 minus n y into y to the power minus n actually that becomes product base is same powers can be added that is equal to should be qx right that is p of x multiplied by this you are taking if you want I will show that that is y to the power n. So base is same powers can be added that is equal to y to the power 1 minus n that is what, what the term I have written. Now this is at one stage after the division of this equation by y to the power n is there. Now the important substitution you have to choose so that 
that substitution will help us to reduce the nonlinear form into the linear form. Okay, this y to the power 1 minus n, I will take one substitution 1 minus n is equal to t because this, uh, this procedure happens in every problem. Like this only you have to proceed. When once you identify the given differential equation is uh, uh, nonlinear, then you have to convert this nonlinear into the linear form. Then what is uh, the differentiation? 1 minus n into y to the power 1 minus n minus 1, it is dy equal to dt. Therefore, that implies further simplification I will take this 1 with minus 1 will cancel 1 minus n into y to the power that is minus n y to the power minus n it is dy equal to dt <coughs> 1 minus n y to the power minus n after cancelling 1 and this minus 1 you will have that is dy multiplied by dy is equal to dt. So, now I will replace here in this place y, uh, here already that product appears that is y to the power minus n and dy that is equal to dt. Anyway, that, that also further can be simplified. That also can be rearranged in this way. Uh, y to the power minus n dy equal to dt divided by 1 minus n. What we will do here for from this equation 2, you can call this equation 2. In this equation 2, exactly same product appeared, whatever the substitution gives the value. y to the power minus n dy, y to the power minus n dy can be replaced by dt by 1 minus n. Therefore, from 2 I can write, from 2 I can write uh, should be 1 divided by 1 minus n, it is dt by dx plus of it is p of x into y to the power 1 minus n I had taken as another variable, you put it another variable that is t, then it is equal to, it is equal to uh, p of x okay, from equation 2, here it is t and then q of x. This is the final form, uh, otherwise you can write simply dt by dx plus of 1 minus n, it is p of x into t that is 1 minus n into q of x. So, this is the final form of the differential equation. Now, how it looks, how this differential equation is uh, appearing, that means this is a linear differential equation. The given differential equation was non-linear because of this y to the power n, now we have removed and that y to the power n is totally not at all appeared on the RHS and then uh, here by the substitution we were able to eliminate this y to the power n and that y to the power n uh, into y to the power n into dt that product can be together replaced. That is dt by dx plus 1 minus n into p of x because I took this uh, to make uh, dt by dx free from that coefficient that is equal to 1 minus n into qx. Now this is linear differential equation which is the linear ODE which is the linear ODE. When once it becomes linear uh, differential equation, then you can easily solve that uh, linear differential equation with the help of previously studied steps. What are the steps? You have to find out the integrating factor. What is that integrating factor? Whatever this Px is there, you have to take along with constant, right? Because in place of y, only t is there and 1 minus n multiplied by px together you have to represent for uh, uh, integrating factor the coefficient under the integral sign. Therefore, uh, find the integrating factor
find the integrating factor as if z equal to e to the power integral that is p of x together I will take this as that is p1 of x multiplied by this quantity and then dx comma p1 of x is equal to it is 1 minus n into it is p of x because 1 minus n is a constant and p of x is function of x alone then that product I will put it under the integral sign to integrate and this also you can write uh, if you want that is equal to q1 of x where q1 of x is equal to 1 minus n into it is q of x is there like that uh, you can have a simplified form in left side and right side uh, in, in the differential equation. <coughs> After finding the integrating factor that is if then the solution the solution of this uh, ODE that means linear ODE is what form actually that is to be written product of the integrating factor into dependent variable. What is the dependent variable here in the present problem that is in place of y t is there ok. Solution of ODE using using if is given by is given by that is uh, t into if t into if and uh, that is equal to integration should be q1 of x it includes 1 minus n as the product with qx into if right and it is dx after multiplying ix and plus constant this is the last step. <coughs> the solution for the differential equation means converted differential equation from nonlinear form to the linear form is this equation and from this equation the solution can be written after finding the integrating factor that is i of is equal to e to the power integral p1 of x is there ok. So, based on this information we will uh, take up some uh, problems on solving Bernoulli's differential equation concept ok. Then uh, first of all keep these uh, ideas in your mind uh, whether it is uh, linear or non-linear for first observation and second observation if it is uh, linear it is of what type whether it is of the type dy by dx form or it is of the type dx by dy form. Otherwise if it is non-linear form there also you have to identify whether it is in the form of dy by dx form or it is in the form of dx by dy. Accordingly the integrating factor accordingly the conversion and then integrating factor and then use the solution procedure whatever the new symbol you are going to take that is nothing but replacement of given variable that is given variable dependent is y in place of that t is comes therefore in place of y into if you have to write t into if that is equal to and right side whatever it is a function of x alone you have to replace that multiply by integrating factor dx plus constant there is nothing except this much uh, in the Bernoulli's differential equation as per your syllabus that is Bernoulli's differential equation uh, but it goes in a uh, two different forms one is this I am telling <coughs> and if you come across the problem because as I told you that the product uh, y into dy form appears anyway this is one kind. So, I can give it as a note if y into dy type occurs if y into dy type occurs that means product I can write into product appears then the ODE due to Bernoulli's Bernoulli's is given by is given by instead of dy by dx you must write dx divided by dy plus p of y into x 
is equal to q of y is equal to x to the power n <coughs> instead of y to the power n because that was linear in y but this is linear in x uh, if this term is not there. When this term is there it is called nonlinear form. Therefore, here x degree 1 but here x degree nth degree. <coughs> when it is nth degree then you have to uh, consider that is, that is not linear <coughs> but it is a nonlinear differential equation. <coughs> Sorry, dx by dy plus p of y and multiplied by x is equal to q of y. So, whenever the product of the type uh, y into dy and uh, uh, x into x into dx, okay, uh, you have to concentrate on these two cases, but especially we focus more on that y into dy. That is y into dy occurs, then immediately you switch, o, switch over to write the standard form that is dx by dy, uh, then x will act as dependent variable and y will act as independent variable. Whereas in this case, y will act as dependent variable and x, as, uh, x will act as independent variable. Same y we have written as substitution t and here x we will write in terms of t. The, that is the only difference, but how to solve this? Uh, in 2 3 steps I will tell because both the types of problems I will solve on uh, Bernoulli's differential equation. Then the corresponding integrating factor <coughs> I f we can write that is e to the power after the rearrangement. Here also it will take like that only 1 minus n into uh, that is P, uh, p of y right into dy there it was dx but here it is dy e to the power integral 1 minus n p of y into dy okay so this is the integrating factor and your uh, uh, solution will be same type the step what i have written t into if but in place of x you will have to write as y that's all integration that is q1 y q1 of y <coughs> into the calculated integrating factor it will be dy it is not dx and plus of it is constant. So, this is the final part of the solution as uh, we expect the uh, theoretical uh, meaning of Bernoulli's differential equation. So, before I rub this and then I will move on to the problems, solution of the problems, then you remember all these steps carefully because it is a compulsory syllabus wherein you will have to attend uh, the differential equation topics immediately after exact differential equations, homogeneous, non-homogeneous, exact, non-exact and then this Bernoulli's differential equation. That means, Bernoulli's do require uh, the uh, meaning of linear differential equation after understanding the linear differential equation you will switch over to Bernoulli's differential equation. Okay. So, now I will start one by one the problems on Bernoulli's differential equation where this Bernoulli's differential equation uh, plays a major role one, one or two examples if I want to mention that is in telecommunication systems in electrical engineering and electronics engineering uh, Bernoulli's differential equation in both the forms that is uh, most of the cases uh, the differential equation will be in the form of nonlinear. Uh, there we need to solve such complicated differential equations. Those complicated differential equations will happen to be uh, sometimes uh, Bessel's equations, Bernoulli's differential equations in that way. Then the first problem let me take uh, on this application that is on the Bernoulli's uh, differential equation. <coughs> solve dy by dx plus 2y by x equal to y square and then x square. Okay. Uh, now, this differential equation easily you can make out uh, right side uh, it is a product y square into x square is there. Anyway, it is clearly said uh, 
dy is not multiplied by <coughs> y. Anyway, given format is correct, given uh, type of writing uh, the derivative is correct, it should be in the form of dy by dx only. Given that dy by dx 2y y square into x square. Okay. Uh, this is to be written according to standard form dy by dx plus of p of x into y is equal to q of x that is into into y to the power n. This is a general form according to uh, nonlinear uh, differential equation. So, let me arrange according to that dy by dx plus saw into y means 2 by x, I will put it in another bracket, then multiplied by y, I will put it in uh, x square first term and then it is y square. Okay. Here, because of the presence of this y square, this happens to be the nonlinear differential equation because here y degree 1 and here y degree 2, it is more than 1, it is nonlinear it is non-linear. What is that? ODE. Non-linear ODE. Then first step, <coughs> as you did in theory, you have to remove this term dividing by y square. So, dividing by y square means in the left side, uh, first term that is y to the power minus 2 you will get and uh, dy by dx, dy by dx plus 2 by x into y divided by this is y square and this is equal to x square and throughout you are dividing by y square, right? This y square cancels. Therefore, y square to the power y to the power minus 2 dy by dx plus 2 by x and y to the power it is 1 minus 2 should be minus 1 is equal to x square. <coughs> that is equal to x square, then this is y to the power minus 1 is there, then this is y to the power minus 2 is there. You have to remove this y to the power minus 2 by choosing the proper substitution that is y to the power minus 1. Put y to the power minus 1 is equal to t. This gives differentiation minus 1 into y to the power minus 1 minus 1 makes as minus 2 should be dy. It is equal to dt. <coughs> then replace that uh, y to the power minus 2 dy with minus of it is dt this y to the power minus 2 multiplied by dy product together you can replace by minus of dt. Then what is that? Minus dt and dx in the denominator remains to be same plus of it is 2 by x this term and multiplied by t that is equal to should be x square. Now observe that it is uh, taking uh, the form of linear differential equation, but which was not in the linear form. Now, right side uh, term is free from the dependent variable that is t uh, at present, but earlier it was y. <coughs> now, this minus sign also I will remove dt divided by dx plus of minus 2 divided by x. I have to arrange according to standard form. This is equal to minus of x square. So, exactly now it is in the form of dt by dx here plus of px into t is equal to qx. This is your standard form. Now, you can see that uh, the first uh, type it takes in the form of dy by dx in place you have dt by dx. So, dt by dx plus q of p of x into dependent variable is equal to function of x alone. 
this is called a linear differential equation, this is called nonlinear differential equation, this is Bernoulli's nonlinear, this is linear differential equation from nonlinear we have changed. Okay. <clears throat> when once uh, you confirm that it is a linear differential equation, then we proceed to solve the differential equation with the calculation of integrating factor. What is that integrating factor? <coughs> integrating factor, integrating factor is given by <coughs> integrating factor i f is equal to e to the power integral uh, what is that it is p of x into d x <coughs> that is e to the power integral minus 2 divided by x it is d x e to the power that is minus of 2 times it should be 1 by x integration is log x what is the next step e to the power log of it is x to the power minus 2. The final answer is x to the power it is <coughs> minus 2. Therefore, i of is equal to uh, x to the power minus 2 that is equal to 1 by it is x square. x to the power minus 2 it is 1 by x square. What is the uh, differential equation you have defined? The, uh, it is in the form of this one, correct? Huh? This I will take it as equation 1. Now, the solution for this equation 1 from the given nonlinear which is reduced to the linear form with the help of uh, integrating factor, we will write the final uh, solution. Therefore, required solution. is given by required solution is given by that is y into i f but in place of y it is t <coughs> t into i f is equal to integral right side is q of x uh, into it is i f that is d x plus constant. Uh, what is your integrating factor? that is 1 by x square <coughs> otherwise x to the power minus 2 1 by x square it is equal to integration what is that uh, q of x minus of x square into 1 divided by x square the calculated integrating factor and uh, dx plus of constant. <coughs> so, this x square and this x square cancels then minus dx that is minus 1 dx and plus constant that is t divided by x square. What is this integration? Minus x plus constant that is t by x square then you will get t by x square is the left side term then in place of t uh, what you have taken actually t is equal to uh, the substitution which you had chosen or t is equal to in terms of the dependent variable you had taken. Okay. So, that is to be substituted because y square this is y square you had divided then y to the power minus 1 right where where t is equal to it is y to the power minus 1. Therefore, y to the power minus 1 divided by x square is equal to minus x and plus constant finally that becomes 1 divided by x square y is equal to minus x and plus constant. This is your final answer uh, of the Bernoulli's differential equation when we have declared that was nonlinear and we reduced it to linear. Uh, we calculated uh, the integrating factor uh, by choosing a new dependent variable in place of y as t we were able to write the solution. So, now I shall take another example which is quite opposite type where uh, the differential equation uh, which we have to write in the form of because the product uh, y into dy appears then how to sort out uh, y into dy and how to reset the problem in the standard form and then we have to write the solution for 
Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation. So, I will go to another example. <coughs> to identify that uh, case as y into dy. Solve x y into 1 plus x into y square that is dy by dx equal to 1. This is another uh, very important case I can feel uh, uh, when you compare with uh, uh, product of the type y into dy is not appeared. But here y is multiplied to dy from this term also you can notice otherwise y into dy from this term also you can notice. Therefore, when one term appears as y into dy product type then it is not in the form of a dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n. It should be in the form of dx by dy uh, format you have to write as a first order derivative. Okay. So, we will arrange that this problem according to second type uh, the differential coefficient as dx by dy. So, that dx by dy uh, will be due to the product y into dy all of a sudden. So, for example, uh, first of all uh, if it is possible to separate the variables you can do it. If it is homogeneous differential equation you can do it. If it is non-homogeneous you try to reduce it. If it is exact, you verify uh, the condition as da, da by m divided by da by y is equal to da by n by da by x, then you can write uh, solution directly. And if it is uh, non-exact, then reduce it to exact and solve. If it is linear, then you solve. But anyway, it is not, li uh, not linear because it is a product is there. It, it becomes a degree more than 1. Anyway, y into dy appears. So, hence it cannot be written as dy by dx form that should be noticed because this is a uh, repeatedly this problem I am I have noticed uh, where uh, interest interesting thing is uh, you have to reset the problem as not dy by dx but as dx by dy form. Okay. Uh, here that term you have to mention here y into dy product is appeared is appeared so that so that it is of the form it is of the form dx divided by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y into x to the power n type. So to this type you have to arrange the equation. Okay, then. First of all, what we will do here, x into y, right? Uh, 1 plus x into y square, that is equal to, I will take this to right side, 1 by, it is dy by dx. What is 1 by dy by dx? It should be dx divided by, it is dy. Okay. I will write that to the left side, otherwise here itself I will release the bracket x y plus x square into y cube. So, these are the two terms in the left side and right side is dx divided by dy. Now, it is your uh, interesting observation you have to arrange this uh, step according to this standard form. It is a non-linear differential equation due to Bernoulli's, but it should be in the form of dx by dy. Okay. Let me take that uh, term dx divided by dy, dx by dy is equal to right uh, x y plus x square it is y cube. I will take this, uh, I, will, I will shift this uh, term here itself. Okay. It should be what, what it is x to the power n is there. Okay. I will write this uh, for right side first term to the left side dx divided by dy and minus of xy that is equal to x square and then y cube. Okay. x square y cube. Then first of all uh, anyway y cube means it should be function of y. I will retain this term here itself. So, dividing by x square that is x to the power minus 2 right. 
it is dy by I am sorry dx by dy and minus of <coughs> minus of this must be x into y is there you are taking division x with uh, x square and makes it as minus 1 and y is equal to y cube correct. Huh? Now you put this x to the power minus 1 as the standard substitution so that you can proceed to find out the integrating factor put x to the power minus 1 is equal to t then minus 1 into x to the power minus 2 dx equal to dt therefore x to the power minus 2 is already existing x to the power minus 2 dx is equal to minus dt therefore this equation you can call this equation as 1 this is 2 then 2 gives 2 gives that is x to the power minus 2 into dx x to the power minus 2 into dx what value minus of it is dt and uh, divided by it is dy and minus it is t minus it is t and what it is the coefficient as y coefficient as y that is equal to uh, y cube correct substitution I chosen that is x to the power minus 1 as t and x to the power minus 2 into dx I have replaced this numerator as dt with the uh, minus sign that is right and dy as it is and minus x to the power minus 1 in place of x to the power minus 1 as t and then <coughs> uh, that is equal to y to the power minus 3. I will remove minus sign now it is dt by dy plus of it is t into y is equal to minus of y cube. So, this is the final format of the uh, linear differential equation and this was the nonlinear differential equation. This is nonlinear differential equation. This is linear differential equation. So, this is of what type? dt by it is dy plus of p of y <coughs> okay p of y into t is equal to q of y that is all. Now, you have to calculate the uh, integrating factor for this product uh, for, sorry for product uh, by selecting the corresponding variable. So, what is uh, p of uh, y here that is y only and you have to take that uh, p of y anyway your dependent variable is not y your dependent variable is t in this case but in the previous problem dependent variable was y. Now, uh, now the dependent variable is t independent variable is y therefore integrating factor you have to choose e to the power what is that p of y into dy that is equal to e to the power what is p of y it is integration y and then it is dy right what is that p of y according to your uh, existing step that is minus dt by dy minus t into y minus minus cancels that is t into y your dependent variable is uh, t and its coefficient is to be utilized for finding the integrating factor that is nothing but uh, your that is nothing but your term that is y only okay then y cube is there right and this becomes y cube of, of course here y cube and uh, integrating factor integration value e to the power that is y square by 2 this is what your term e to the power y square uh, y square by 2 e to the power y square by 2 is your integrating factor therefore required solution required solution is given by required solution is given by uh, that should be t into integrating factor is equal to right side totally the q of y means minus of y cube okay minus of y cube uh, here minus y cube as it is you have to write and then integrating factor that is e to the power y square by 2 and it is dy plus of constant 
Now the integration is so cleverly uh, you have to solve because e to the power y square is there and here y cube is there. Okay? You have to separate that as y cube as y square and y so that uh, differentiation gives one y you can uh, uh, make use for replacement of y into dy when you substitute when you uh, take the substitution for y square as t uh, sorry y square as some other variable. Therefore, this y cube can be split uh, in this way t into i f that is uh, e to the power y square by 2 z equal to integration that minus sign I will put it outside then y square and y e to the power y square divided by 2 okay? and what, what else you have to write uh, that is dy and plus constant. Okay. So, now this integration is to be solved put y square equal to t this y square equal to t otherwise y square by 2 is equal to t therefore y square is equal to it is 2 into 2 into t then 2y it is dy is equal to 2 into dt differentiating on both sides here with respect to y y square gives us 2y into dy and 2 into t gives us 2 into dt so this cancels right then y into dy you can replace that y into dy here y into dy you can replace as dt therefore t into e to the power y square by 2 z equal to minus integration that is y square is t and y into dy you are going to replace as dt and e to the uh, wait. So, another symbol you have to take because t already we have used something like z you can take uh, right and this must be z another another symbol you can use this must be z okay this must be z and e to the power z right y square that is z y square by 2 y square is equal to 2z right and y in place of y that is y into dy is equal to 2 into dz only dz you have to replace e to the power z and dz plus of constant ok. So, this is minus 2 integration z into e to the power z it is dz plus constant this is minus 2 and this is u and this is v integration by parts multiplied by e to the power z minus 1 into e to the power z twice integration because integration by parts you are going to write and plus of constant that is t into e to the power y square by 2. This is the final form where the solution can be written uh, back in the form of same symbols. What is uh, t? t is equal to what value? t is equal to x to the power minus 1 this one. So, t is equal to x to the power minus 1 otherwise 1 by x and z just now we have taken y square by 2. So, these are the two values which can be introduced in this equation that becomes the final solution and uh, uh, the final solution always should be written in the form of uh, the given variables but not in the form of new symbols. So, that simplified form you can write in place of t that is 1 by x here and uh, e to the power y square by 2 that is equal to minus 2 and uh, multiplied by z that is y square by 2 e to the power z e to the power y square by 2 and minus e to the power it is y square by 2 and then plus constant. This is the final form of writing do not forget that uh, you have to write the final solution in the form of the given variables that means in terms of x and y. Now, so these are the two problems which I solved uh, uh, accordingly the type 1 and type 2. So, now I shall give the repetition of the problems on this Bernoulli's differential equation. Solve.
this is a commonly repeating problem in your papers. This is dy by dx plus y is equal to x cube into y to the power 6. You start your studies after uh, understanding the concept on Bernoulli's differential equation as first priority to this problem because both I have solved uh, to prove the concept. But now you start uh, giving the priority this is number 1. Uh, earlier to this number 2 and this problem has number 3. So, that you can understand the steps what theoretically we have explained that means what theoretically we have discussed. So, uh, to prove that concept uh, Bernoulli's differential equation as nonlinear form and this is also nonlinear form, uh, but it is not in the ready form we have to make uh, this problem to the standard format solution. Let same problem you write dy by dx plus y is equal to x cube into y to the power 6 is there. First of all we have to remove this x here then divide by x. What is the step? It is dy by dx and uh, we, we are dividing by x means y by x correct and x square ok. Uh, throughout you are dividing by x, x square and then y to the power 6 is there ok. So, this is at one stage, this is at one stage means this is the standard form. What is that standard form? You have defined as Bernoulli's differential equation, what is the standard form? That standard form is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n. You can check whether exactly the, the problem is uh, matching with uh, Bernoulli's differential equation in the standard form or not, it is going to match because dy by dx is the first derivative and p of x is function of x alone it is there and y is there and first degree and here y to the power n is there and y to the power 6 is there. That means y is not taking uh, uh, here uh, not limited to first degree, was it limited to first degree we would have called, called that as linear differential equation, but it is not linear, it is a non-linear differential equation ok. So, then what is your first job to do? This y to the power 6 you have to remove, therefore dividing by y to the power 6, twice division occurs here. First you have to remove this x and second time you have to remove this is y to the power 6 ok. So, this gives, this gives y to the power 6 division that is y to the power minus 6. Uh, dy by dx plus of uh, y to the power uh, 6 you are going to divide and that is 1 divided by x into y to the power of 5 is equal to x square right side is free from that dependent variable ok. Now, you reset the problem y to the power minus 6 it is dy by dx plus of 1 by x this y to the power minus 5 then it is equal to x to the power of 2 right y to the power minus 6 dy by dx plus 1 by x and this I am taking to numerator that is y to the power minus 5 and equal to x square ok. So, this is in the standard form up to here I would like to stop and then I shall continue in the next lecture the solution remaining steps. Thank you.